that's where we're at right now. Big old mess, but we're going to try to make some sense of it and hopefully start off on a better note here in Q2. Hey y'all, it's Taylor from Tattoo Teacher Plans. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are working on April goals and it has been a roller coaster of a year already. And I'm just trying to create some calm this month, I think. Like, I, it's just been wild. So let's go through what we're gonna do today. So I have do, two books actually from the Moxie Life Companion Notebook set. Um, I'm finishing up the first quarter and then we're gonna move into Q2 with this book. So I'm just gonna put this one off to the side for a moment. Then we've got some markers and stickers. So I've got this washi from Simply Gilded. It's so pretty. And then I'm gonna use one of these, the little April ones today. I just, I, the, the month color was like gray or something and I was like, I need some color. Then I'm gonna use these yellow um, little stickers for some dates. And then I've got my Jelly Roll Moonlight in green gray, which is my favorite. And then I have this yellow mild liner. I don't know what the actual color is because it's in Japanese, but this one is in English and it is summer green. And then I've got two dot markers. This one is summer sun and this one is pink. So we're going for a like bright spring look for this month just to bring in some life to my planner. So first thing we're gonna do is go over some reflections of Q2 and the month of March. Then we're gonna go into this book and we're gonna write some goals for the month. And then I'm going to write my weekly actions for the first week of April. Okay, so let's start with this book here. I'm gonna go to the very back. I fell off my goals in March. Um, everything <laughs> fell off the wagon, um, but we're going to try to get back to some type of normalcy. I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell you about it as we go. Okay. So biggest wins this month, quality time with my mom. So she was diagnosed with breast cancer at the end of February, like right before I went to go wild. And then she told me right when I got back, so for spring break, I went and visited and we just hung out for a little while. She had her like first meeting with her oncologist and everything. And she had her last haircut before she starts chemo. And we just like spent some time together since then. Um, she's gotten really good prognosis. So she um, has stage 1B of breast cancer and she's going to be great. Like everything's going to be good. It has not spread. She still has to go through all of the like steps of the process, chemo, radiation, surgery, all the things, but she's going to be fine. Like we're just so, so grateful for that. Um, my job is also leveling out a little bit this time of the year. Things start to just kind of, uh, go downhill in a good way. Like we just kind of, uh, ease on into the end of the year, which is great. We have two thirds of the school year finished and now we're like at five sixths of the school year is finished. Um, currently working some of my routines, lots of anti-time and sister time, um, so much reading, things that are currently not working, YouTube. So I'm gonna go down to two videos a week from here on out for the foreseeable future because I have to cut some things out of my life right now because my middle sister Chase is going to come and live with me and my other sister Callie um, because we don't want her to see my mom when it starts to get really bad with the chemo. Um, she has developmental disabilities and so she won't really understand everything. So I need to simplify. Uh, workouts are also not working. I have a lack of drive. I was going off budget. Uh, too many planners right now need to simplify. So I'm cutting out my memory planner right now. And I'm actually thinking of simplifying even more, but not quite yet. I, I'm, I have to take it in stages. What I learned this month, I can slow down and put things off. When I need a rest, I need spring. So once the time changed, things felt a lot better. Getting that like sunlight in the evenings helps so much. I've got to find a way to motivate myself though. Yes, for sure. Okay, improvements and adjustments. As you can see, this is like a mess because I kept coming back to it. My handwriting even, you can see like everything is just lots of messy things, but 
we're getting through it. Okay. Improvements or adjustments. Get outside more. Do the damn workout. I'll feel better. Tighter routines and slow down and adapt to Chase living with me. That's going to be a big change. I've lived by myself since college and that's the way I like it. And so this is going to be a big change. Um, it is kind of temporary, but it's kind of a, a glimpse of the future for when my parents get older too. So lots to think about. Um, things that I'm most grateful for right now, my family, my health, my nephews, mom and her doctors and my sisters, habits I want to nurture, movement for sure, routines, tighten them up, start watering my yard regularly and call in and check with, check in with my folks like on a regular basis. Area I want to focus on next month, health and wellness and a little bit financial because I've been spending a little too much money. Okay, this is a, a big mess here because I just, I kept changing my mind here and I don't know why I kept marking things down. So I put a note here to myself that I kept changing my mind. I guess that tells me something too. Yeah, my mind is a little bit all over the place, but I'm trying to create focus and calm for this month. Okay, so here are my scores from um, previously at the beginning of the school year school year, beginning of the calendar year. And then here are my current scores. So definitely decreased personal actions that have motivated or contributed to this. Me being lazy, not motivated. These were choices. And I didn't put the, in the effort that I should have for sure. Um, three words to describe the last 90 days, slow, stressful, overwhelming. My biggest opportunity for growth, I picked health and wellness, because if I'm not taking care of myself, then how do I focus on and improve area, other areas of my life? So that's where we're at right now. Big old mess, but we're going to try to make some sense of it and hopefully start off on a better note here in Q2. Okay, I don't know why I put that to the side already. Let's add a little bit of color to this, and I'm going to mark in what month this is, which was March. Okay. So I'm going to add a little bit of color. I'll be right back. Okay, that looks nice and like bright besides all of the info on there. Okay, now we're ready to set this to the side. And let's bring in this book, which I think is so beautiful. I love this color so much. And this is like really timely. <laughs> I need to remember that over the next 90 days in this book. So let's go to our monthly goals here. And let's set up this page first. So I'm going to grab... Um, the washi and these two April stickers and that's it for now so I'm gonna just white out this area up here the washi is probably opaque enough for me to not have to do this but just in case okay so I'm gonna lay down a little bit of washi here just to kind of cover that area okay and then we'll do the same thing on the other side and then I'm going to take these April stickers and just pop them right in the center of their hunt. Love Hannah's handwriting. I wish that I had interesting handwriting like she did. That's so pretty. Okay, now let's go to these pages real fast. And I'm going to add in some of these yellow stickers for the top right corner. Um, I think there's five weeks in March, something like that. So we're just going to put these right up at the top so that I can mark in the weeks. Okay, we have all of those in, and let's go back to the monthly page. Okay, so I've got my dot markers. We're going to use these. I have some brainstorming, like, up here on Post-its, but not, like, the final version. I do that with you. So for each category, we're going to come up with a focus and then list each item that I want to do. Plus, if it's a weekly thing or it has a number to it, I'm going to add a little tracker. So I think I'm going to use pink for the dots and I'll use yellow for trackers. And of course I'm gonna use my Jelly Roll Moonlight because it is my favorite. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. I'm gonna grab my yearly goals because we need to reference these. My word of the year is consistency, which has not worked out very well at all, but we're gonna work on it this month. We're gonna like hopefully make some progress um, just kind of like center myself a little bit. Okay. So for personal, um, definitely want to nurture myself. I'm going to bring in some reflection because I think I need to think back on the week and like fine tune it for the next week because there's going to be just a lot of changes happening with Chase coming to live with me. Um, I also want to take care of myself. So I want to do a pedicure next month. I think I might change that down the road, but just something to like give myself a little 
something extra, you know? And then we need to work on our PM routine together, me and Shays, <laughs> to figure out what does she need, what do I need, how much time is everything going to take. So we're going to work on the PM routine together and we're going to write it down. So I think for my focus this month is going to be patience because everybody's going to have patience or have to have patience to get through these changes. And I think I need to focus on that. Okay. So we're going to put in three dots for those three things and I'll write those in. Now let's go to trackers. So really just this middle one is the only one that needs a tracker. And let me just double check on how many weeks we have in April. I'm going to put five because this is a bit of a weird month. Um, but we're just going to keep five. And then if I don't need that last dot, it's fine. Okay, so fun and recreation. This one is always a little bit hard for me because I don't like, <laughs> I love to do fun things, but I don't make time for it. Okay, so I definitely want to go on a hike with Chase down in the canyon. I have not been in months. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. Why am I not getting down there? It's my happy place. So I definitely need to do that. And I'm going to bring her because I think it'll be helpful for her too. She loves nature as well. Um, and then I want to do something fun with my nephews. Um, I don't really know what, but we're going to find something fun to do because I want to just make sure that we're all just like, like having fun with each other because, you know, it is going to be hard, but we can embrace the like good thing that we're all together as well if that makes sense <laughs> okay so for fun and recreation I think I'm gonna put like make time because if I don't we won't do it okay and then those two things I feel like I want to add something else I don't know what though I'm gonna leave it I might add something in just a little bit but for now we're just gonna do those two okay I know um, what I want to add I want to add something here fun with Callie because we're both going to be a little bit stressed. And I think if we do something together, we've been going to like shows together and stuff. So maybe we can go to dinner or something. We realized pretty quick after our last show that we should have bought like more <laughs> tickets because we would have gone to all of them, I think. Okay, let's go to work and learning. This is going pretty well when it comes to like work, like actual work, but I do want to finish up all of my lesson plans for the rest of the school year this month, which is totally doable. Um, I just want to get that like off my plate and then um, I want to just like do some like creative things at work and I think what I want to do is like some trends. I've been kind of like keeping track of some, but I want to like sit down with the teachers and work on like finding some new trends that they can apply. For themselves. Um, I am doing two videos a week. We're going down to that because it just needs to happen. And I want to do that favorites video that I've been putting off for literally months. It's going to happen this month. I'm just like manifesting that. So focus for this month. I think I'm going to do support myself because the, all of this stuff that I'm thinking about will help me do that. Okay, so I don't think any of these really need a tracker. Okay, family and relationships. So I feel like we're a lot closer than we've been in a long, long, long time. Um, so I think my focus is just going to be like love on everybody. And I definitely need to check in with my mom like, I don't know, three times a week. I think I usually do two, but I just want to like make sure she's doing well. And then I want to spend some time with Callie and we need to do a fun Easter activity with like Chase and the boys. Chase still loves like all of the holidays and everything. Like she still believes in all of the fictional characters. So I feel like we want to do something fun for Easter. So for my focus, um, it's just going to be connection. Okay. For trackers for this one, I'm just going to do here. Okay, and now we're ready for the other side. So let's just turn the page here. So health and wellness is my focus for Q2 and the month of April, because like I mentioned in my reflections and my quarterly assessment, if I can't take care of myself here, then how am I supposed to do the rest of it? And I've definitely been putting all of this on the back burner for 
a while now. So things I want to do this month, um, I definitely want to spend some time outside. I think that's a thing that made a difference in March is I started to go for more walks because it's more light outside in the evenings and it's just a way to recharge myself. I'm like a solar panel or something. Um, also, I'm going to continue my meal prep and plan. That really keeps me on track, and I think it will help um, reduce some stress in the evenings when I need to feed Chase dinner. Um, then we're, I'm going to do like three meditations a week. Uh, I did that last week, and it was like really helpful with sleep and just kind of getting my mind right at any time in the day. Um, and then strength workouts. I don't know how many I want to do this month, but I'm going to put two because that is my, like my yearly goal, but I don't know if I'm going to make that goal each week. I just don't know how it's going to go, you know, but I'm going to put it as a goal. And then if I don't make it, then we can adjust next month. Okay. I just wrote in my focus, which is reduce anxiety. And then I'm going to put in those five things. Um, I don't think I mentioned four movements every week, but we're going to try that too. Okay. We got a lot of trackers here. So this one has each week. Do they all have each week? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to put five dots for each week. I feel like I really should have put four dots, but it's all right. <laughs> okay. That feels comfortable and not too much for me. I think it's a good um, thing to pour into, you know? Okay. So spiritual and personal growth. I feel like I have been I don't know how to explain it, but just like more centered than I have been in a while. And I don't know why I had like this calmness about my mom's cancer diagnosis. Like, yeah, I was upset about it, but like, I don't know, like inside me, I knew everything was going to be okay. And there's a long road ahead, of course, but like, I just had like this peace about it and I really want to foster that and keep it going. So I want to keep up with my daily gratitude, of course, because that has become like something I do every day and it's important to me. But I also want to um, like keep in that mindfulness practice. And I think journaling will also help me this month. I'm not a good journaler. Like I cannot quiet my mind, but at Go Wild, we saw Bess and she talked about journaling in a different way. And it really, really like spoke to me. So I want to try her methods and I'm going to just do it twice a week, I think, for this month and just see how that goes. If I do more, great. But I think that'll help too, just to like get my mind calm and like on the right track, you know. I think my focus is going to be calming. Okay, so we need trackers on both of these. Okay, now let's go to financial, which... Oh, uh, financial. <laughs> um, I I don't know what my mind has been going to, but I've just been spending too much money. So I need to rein it in this month. So I'm thinking I want to like stay on budget each week. That's been the main problem is I'm just going off budget and just buying crap that I don't necessarily need, but I want it. Um, and then updating my budget as well. Um, I just... I don't know. I want like to have this goal of reducing stressors, but I keep spending too much money. Plus like not all of it is my fault. Like inflation is out of control, you know, and I need to just adjust to it. And I have like, my budget is great. Like it's what I need to do. I just need to stick with it. Okay. My focus is going to be careful decisions. And then those two things. I realize these two things um, could be the same thing, but the staying on budget is going to be different from updating it, but they kind of go together. I don't know. I kind of like having them both there just to make me think of both things. Okay. Physical environment. So I'm getting back into my cleaning routine after a chaotic March, but I want to just kind of um, stay on track with what I've been doing in the past couple of months. Well, not doing, but intending to. So when it comes to like spring and my yard and everything, I definitely need to water my yard each week. I fertilized and planted some seed. So definitely need to do that pretty much every day. And then my car is good. Workspace. Oh, I probably need to clean my workspace. 
And then these things are just like maintenance goals that I need to continue to do. So focus. Um, I think just like stay the course because I, I have a good plan. I just need to keep doing it. Okay, my hand is getting a little tired. So my uh, handwriting is suffering a little bit, but we're going to finish up with weekly actions. So let me just add a few trackers here. Cannot put these dots in one to save my life. I'm just going to put two there for my classroom and my office. Okay, so let's go to weekly actions for the first week, full week of April. So that's going to be April 3rd through the ninth. Is that right? Yeah. So we're just going to alternate with these two colors. Actually, I think I want to bring in this green just for funsies because that yellow is going to clash with that yellow. Okay, so this is the first full week that Chase is going to be with me. So I need to keep it, um, what's the right word? I need to keep it simple and purposeful. Okay, so here we're just going to work on reflection and that new PM routine. Okay, and then when it comes to fun and recreation, um, I think I'm just going to like stick with the like Easter theme here since next weekend is Easter and we're going to do something fun with the nephews, but we might do something in between that. Okay. Work and learning. Okay. I'm going to work on prepping for the favorites video and the trends, like getting the meetings set up and all of that. Okay. Family and relationships. I definitely want to check in with my mom and like do that fun Easter thing. We're probably going to like hunt eggs in Callie's backyard since I don't have a backyard. <laughs> and so I don't know what else, like maybe do an Easter lunch or something. And then health and wellness. Cool. There's quite a few things on here, but I may use all of them since they're all like weekly tasks. Let's just put all of them and see what I can do for this week. Um, one of the things that I'm doing to help with meal planning and prep is I'm going to eat breakfast at work. We get free breakfast and lunch at work. So, um, I'm just going to take advantage of that. I don't always like the lunches, but the breakfasts are always really good. Okay. Spiritual and personal growth. I'm going to put both. We're just going to stick with those two for financial. I'm just going to put update my budget. And then for the very last one, physical environment, um, I need to work on the watering and then I need to make my monthly tasks list and my daily and weekly tasks. So those three. Okay. Good thing we're done because my hand is about to fall off. <laughs> okay. So let's review what we did today. So first I did my monthly reflections and my Q2 assessment and actually we need to write in since this is undated that this is q2 so i know no q1 sorry q1 so we know what we're looking at when we look back and then we wrote monthly goals for the month of april and weekly actions for that first week let me know if you have worked on your april goals either you did it before i did or you did it with me I love to hear how you're doing on all of your goals. Let me know what your focus is for the month of April and what you're going to do with it. I'm always curious and I need ideas. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload. And I'll see you next time. Bye.